Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the difference between the load number and serial number. Let's get into the inventory module in order to manage with the load number and serial number. Here we can just head into the configuration settings where we need to enable the config, I mean the load number and serial number so that we can just get the complete traceability of, of the product frame that has moved from the vendor to the customer or customer to the warehouse back. So here we have just enabled this and now we have to just consider a product which is drawer black. So we know a lot number is just used for the identifications of group of product uh, and a serial number is used for uh, the identifications of individual product. In case of a product, a product will have a load number as well as a serial number. So here we can also keep a product in package. So here you can see that we can also enable the packages over here and we can just put the products in a parcels or uh, boxes and we can just track them by setting a load number for this package. Here you can just consider the product uh, which is uh, drawer black and here you can see that the on hand quantity is currently zero. Now in order to manage the packets as well as the load number you can just head into the inventory tab where you can just find that currently the traceability is set to no tracking. Now we can just change the tracking by loads and we can just manage uh, the uh, product by loads. And here we can just create a packaging like pack of. So this package will have five quantity and here you can just uh, set the package uh, type and all. So it's a box and that will have a pack of five drawer black and this contains five quantity. Now later on we also need to set the load number right. So here we are just going to manage the load number upon the reception of the IRA. Now let's move on to the purchase module and let's see how can we manage the load number for a particular package. So for that you can just go here and click on new button where you can just set the vendor here we are just going to receive the item from Anita Oliver for uh, the product drawer black with five quantity as you just set the quantity you can see order will automatically configure the packaging quantity with its unit and name and all and now let's save this and confirm the order upon the reception of the item we can just give the uh, load number for the product so here you can just click on receive button where you can just provide the load number and click on this icon where you can just set the load number so here we are just going to provide load number for drawer black. So I'm going to give the name of the load number like LT01. Later on, I uh, will save this load number and let's click on validate so that you can see we have now just received five quantity of drawer black into our warehouse and you can just find it under the traceability. And this shows which load has moved to the warehouse from vendor to the stock. Now we can also manage uh, the serial number for this particular product itself and we know uh, load number is used for grouping um, a particular product and serial number is used for uh, individual product that is the identification of individual product so here we have just considered the drawer black that is group of five and uh, that is in a package and that package has uh, the load number LD01 so here the individual product which means there are five quantities of drawer black in the package. So all these individual quantities will have a serial number. Now let's see how can we manage the serial number for the same product itself. So for that you can just go to uh, the drawer black and under the inventory tab here you can just change the tracking by uh, serial number. Later on you can just close this and you can save the changes that you have made. Later on we can just create a new load number i mean uh, the serial number for that you can just move on to more where you can just click on load or serial and here you can just click on new and let's create a serial number so i'm going to create a serial number like sd01 as the name of the serial number where we know we can only use the serial number like existing serial numbers uh, while we are just making a sale order now let's move on to the sales module and in the sales module we have just received an order from the customer Decoedict where uh, the product is uh, drawer black and here you can just save this. Now you can just confirm the order and you know upon the delivery of the item uh, the serial number will be automatically configured by Oru. So here we can see that one of the transfer is ready because we have the stock 
um, in the warehouse and the source location is WH stock and we need to just move the item into the warehouse output. And here you can see that Odo has configured the load number but we just need to consider the serial number while we are just individually giving the products or uh, selling the products. So here you can see we can just choose the serial number and set that later on you can save this and click on validate so that the product will be moving to the output location and from the output location we can just deliver the item to the customer. So here you can see that the other transfer is ready because the, currently the product is ready at its source location that is warehouse output and we can just make the delivery of the item to the customer decode it where you can see the serial number is SD01 and you can just click on validate so that we can just make the delivery of the item to the customer using the serial number. So it's very easy to manage with uh, the serial number and load number for a particular product and I hope this video clarifies how to manage the uh, difference in the load number and serial number and I hope this is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.